Hi folks and welcome back here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about um, um, revealing technique for logos or any stuff you like. And it's one of my favorite ones and um, I know there are quite a lot of tutorials out there in the internet covering the same topic but anyway it's good to have a quick technique in your pocket when you have to have it, right? Mm -hmm. And therefore let's get started. So I've prepared a basic scene here, um, just edit a physical sky with a compositing tag, make it invisible for the camera, um, add a background with gradient, and add a, a mesh of a car, a simple low poly mesh. And the first thing we have to do is to add a poly FX effect to um, to let cars mesh. You can find it in the effectors, uh, sorry, in the MoGraph panel. There it is. And we just drag it into the null here. To make it work, we have to add effectors to that polyfx. So the first effector we are going to add is, um, sorry, not random, um, a plane effector. Just add it to the effectors, go to the plane effector and switch this fall off to linear. And if we move it along the z-axis, we uh, you can see what the plane effector is doing. So switch the other way around. match up the size with the car like so maybe go to the parameters panel and change the scale to uniform and set it to minus one and now we have a basic transition the edge of that um, plane effector is kind of linear or even and to change that we're going to add a new effector and the random effector bring the random effector down make the random effector part of the poly fix and make sure it's on top of it or on top of the plane effector otherwise it won't work correctly then now go to the random effector switch off the position, make the plane effector child of the random effector and play around with the weight transform. So now you see the distribution of our uh, uh, polygons is kind of uneven or randomized. If we now move our random effector through the scene, we have kind of a randomized Reveal, uh, revealing effect. So now uh, we're going to add the inheritance effector to control to control the starting position of our particles here. And to do that we're going to add a new object, let's say cube for example, and place it somewhere in your scene, let's say above the uh, car's body. Now go to the MoGraph panel and add the inheritance effector. Make the inheritance effector child of the random effector and add it to the effectors panel of the poly FX. Now tell the inheritance effector to use the um, cube we've, we've created and once you've done it all of our polygons will just jump to the position of the um, of the cube. So this is not exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to change the fall off of my of my inheritance effector to linear as well. Uh, minus that orientation, sorry. Uh, scale it up. Uh, 
and voila there's your transition you can switch off the cube so um, let's just add a few keyframes here keyframe here oh sorry just bring it to so, and another keyframe here and play back so you can just tweak it a little bit more if you want you can of course play around with the fall off here plenty of factors fall off chorus you can um, of course uh, add a spline functionality here or uh, even just add more parameters like rotation oh sorry 100 like rotation and you can of course just one last step is to go to the random effector and set it to noise index maybe bring down the animation speed and now play it back you have constant movement in the um, just a little bit more detail in the movement of the of the polygons so this is one of my favorite techniques and it's quite flexible you can change the mesh to use just um, use a text object or whatever you like without changing anything here just just you have to match the size of course and stuff like that but anyway it's very quick to set up and nice result I think that hope it's useful uh, thanks for watching see you soon bye bye